So it is a federal grant. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of forced to pay for everything that happens here? Yes. Freekeen.com A Granite State Future listening session. We're in Pembroke, New Hampshire at uh, Pembroke Academy, the local government school. When you're taping and quoting people directly and identi yeah. identifying them, the one thing about our um, hang on just a second. Well, no, <laughs> this is on. This is you know, according to y'all's website, this is going to heavily affect my life. So, I think what you have to say affects my life. Oh, too, I so. wasn't talking about the yeah. project, but um, but I wanted you to tell me when you were taping and you didn't. And so well, that's all I'm asking. This sort of. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so what we ask um, because our process is it's not the typical meeting where people sit in rows and one person talks at a time. Yeah. We're in circles, so lots of people get to talk and lots of people get to listen. Mm -hmm. So when they're in those groups, we expect people will be able to explore the topic, disagree with each other, um, even have an experimental thought. And so if you were going to um, you know, zero in on someone and videotape them saying one thing, sort of edited. I want you to ask their permission and I'll tell you why. I know that uh, I know that you don't have to, but it's out of respect for the process because I want people to be able to have an experimental thought in this kind of a um, venue. As opposed Whereas, to like over in front of City Hall. You right, know, or in City yeah. Hall you kind of plan your, people get nervous, but they plan what they're going to say and they often write it out. You've seen that, right? Here, um, they're kind of thinking they get to be a, a part of a discussion rather than part of a um, proclamation. So yeah, and I saw that on them. the website, and you know, I I know there are times where I'll pick a battle, but I'm not sure that's one I want to pick. I, I may want to film someone who wants to be filmed in there, one or two. That'd be I'm great. not really very interested in filming average people who don't want to be filmed up close. You know, I, I can kind of we can see where you're almost from. always. Yeah. Actually, I've never not been able to find people who. Um, I've always been able to find people who were fine being filmed. Mm -hmm. But I do let people know that they should let us know if they're not fine. Yeah. And and even if there's one person in the room, then, you know, there's always somebody else who's good with it. I think that maybe one of the objections to the Granite State Future process is just that it's kind of almost by nature a little bit non-transparent. You know, you, you have to, because there's civilians and in, in the average people in these, these small groups, uh, yeah. it doesn't lend itself to the kind of transparency that town hall would. That's so interesting because all of the information that comes out of it ends up being published. Like every word from small group reports, every um, all the groups report out at the end and say what was significant in their group. All of it from each site gets compiled and put on the website and then everything from all the groups gets compiled and put into a report that will be put on the website. And that's another problem is if, it's, if the meeting, if the little breakout sessions aren't recorded, you know, it was just kind of GSF's word or NH Listen's word as to what the conclusions of each and group And everybody were. in that group. So anyone in a, in a group can, can, you know, check it out. In fact, they, I, make, I encourage them to, um, whoever the scribe is, like if it's not being, if what they say isn't written the right way on the flip chart, tell your facilitator. Mm -hmm. If um, your the report from your group um, whether it's going into a laptop or the flip chart, ask to see it, yeah. read it, sit and read it. You can check it out. Um, we do have people do that, and I totally understand that. Um, we encourage people to, uh, you know, claim the information that's coming out of their group. The, you know, one of the things that does happen is that sometimes folks want only their point of view, you know, covered and we cover everyone's point of view that's in the group. You can look right. back at our um, summaries from previous groups and 
you know, for example, in um, we've had you were saying you have a libertarian bent, and we've had libertarians come to several um, of our events. Manchester was particularly, um, you know, heavy in a libertarian point of view, and you'll see the themes. The themes are really clear. Um, you know, property rights. Um, you know, limited government or no federal government. It all shows up, comes right through in the process. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.